Next, we'll be discussing gravity and Newton's law of universal gravitation. Here's a picture of Isaac Newton. It's difficult to overestimate the historical impact of this man. His ideas were tremendously successful and influential. And most of his significant work, incidentally, was done when he was very young. Here's a picture uh, of Newton when he was much younger. Actually, when he was a student at Cambridge, uh, was during those years when he developed most of his significant ideas. He went off to Cambridge University. Here's a picture of Cambridge. And interestingly, it looks today very much like it did back then. It's a magnificent place architecturally and one of the most picturesque places in all of England. And these are the buildings. The, the, the large building you see there is the King's College Chapel, um, just a tremendous example of Gothic architecture. Newton attended Trinity College. Cambridge University is divided into smaller colleges. Here's Trinity College where Newton attended school. And he actually had um, access to some of the most recent and cutting-edge education in mathematics at the time there. Now, the university as a whole was still very Aristotelian in its thinking. Galileo had come before Newton and the Renaissance was well underway, but they didn't have the internet and ideas spread slowly at the time. And so way over on the other side of the European continent in Italy, the ideas from the Renaissance and the new approaches toward science that were being taken hadn't spread over into England. But one professor at the university, Professor Barrow, did instruct Newton, and Newton did get some, some very well-qualified mathematical instruction during his first year at Cambridge. There's another picture of the Trinity College at Cambridge. That's a, a bridge that they call the Mathematician's Bridge. Here's a, a formal dinner in the dining hall at Cambridge. Now, interestingly, when Newton was at Cambridge, the Black Plague struck England, and it was tremendously devastating to the European population, and England was no exception. And diseases, obviously, are spread more easily when people are in close contact, such as when they're eating together in a large room, or just when they're in a university, when you have a lot of people uh, living and working in one, one place. So they closed down Cambridge University. Uh, after Newton's first year there. And they sent everybody home and they encouraged them to find isolated places where they would have minimal contact with other people. And so after a year at Cambridge, Newton went off and spent a year in Lincolnshire at his grandmother's farm, which probably looked much like this Lincolnshire farm that we see in the picture here. It was during this year alone in Lincolnshire that Newton came up with his theories, his theories of gravity, his development, his initial development of the calculus, and his laws of motion, all on his own by himself, just sitting there thinking and pondering these ideas. The, the legend is that Newton, an apple fell from a tree, and that prompted Newton to think about gravity. He actually did say that his discovery of the theory of gravity was occasioned by the fall of an apple. So that, that could have happened out here at the farm in Lincolnshire. And also note that it's not like an apple fell and these ideas just popped into his head. Someone once asked Newton how he managed to come up with these theories. And he simply said, by thinking about it nonstop all the time. So there's no substitute for the effort of thinking, and he did that. He was also just inherently a mathematical genius. His mind was capable of things that most other people's aren't.